<laughs> All right, guys. Today I'm gonna be doing <laughs> a little bit of a mini experimenting with this Intel Compact. I mean, that's why I kind of got it for in the first place to pretty much experiment anything, you know, relating to like what retro computing and whatnot. Even if it's just me messing around with all the operating systems and whatnot. But this is pretty much just me, anyways. Just me experimenting stuff. But yeah. <laughs> so I'm pretty much doing this little mini experiment. See if I can run at least up to like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten <laughs> users at once on this Intel compound. That's putting a lot of load on this Intel compact for like a what what seems to be like a almost 24 year old system but yeah <laughs> let's try it just for the heck of it we're in the admin account so we are in so <laughs> we're already in obviously yep and we can uh, switch users by clicking this button, or we can just do uh, Windows L. I find it that it's faster if I just hit uh, Windows L <laughs> to uh, lock the, the computer so that we, we can go back to that screen if we wanted to, because that's what we're gonna be doing anyway. So now we're gonna log into my account the one that has my name on it. It's just, this is gonna be us, so. <laughs> it's gonna get pretty interesting. So now we have two accounts running at once. Now to log into this one. Now, you may notice that um, I am running Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. That's because we got this, we got the default background for said operating system and the embedded theme too. And that's why I had this account named Embedded because I wanted to keep uh, this, the stock theme here. So, yeah. But in the welcome screen, it's still labeled as XP because, yes. Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 is a version of Windows XP in and of itself. But anyways, now that we got these accounts all set up and done, why not we try to guest account down here? Or before we do that, let's do all these numbered users from user 1 to user 6. Let's try it. <laughs> let's see. It's pretty... Let's see if this... <laughs> See if this computer can handle up to 10 accounts running at once, all on the same computer. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, better yet, I have not set up all these accounts, so because I just created it solely for the purposes of this video and this little mini experiment I had. So I will be backing out here, logging into <laughs> user number two. Gonna be hearing the we're gonna be hearing the windows xp start sound for it we're gonna be hearing it so much in this video we're gonna be hearing it so many times oh my goodness user number three here we go <laughs> let's see You know, in hindsight of this uh, Intel Compact, I am going to be uh, kind of rearranging things around this Intel Compact uh, shortly after this video because, like, I've been wanting, I've been wanting to like rearrange all the partitions exactly as how it was and kind of fixing up some things, even including the Windows 98 uh, partition that I have on this thing, which I am unable to boot from. So. I may have to completely reinstall that, but yeah, <laughs> I'm continuously booting from all of these uh, newly created accounts. 
that I created solely for this little mini experiment. But yeah. And because I'm going to be rearranging the partitions around, I'm I'm going to have to like format uh, this uh, this POS Ready 2009 uh, partition because um, just moving just moving the the, the partition with all the contents in it via a Chronos OS selector that is going to take up like a long time probably up to like what two or three days if if it's a successful one but that I mean that was the that was the from the last time that I did uh moving partitions over with this Intel compact but yeah stuff with um retro computing like this but yeah yeah, well anyway, we're on the last user, the last numbered user that I made, and then we'll move on to guests. And let's see how we're going to be using fast user switching. We'll use fast user switching for all of them, because I have enabled that when I enabled the welcome screen. And now for guests. <laughs> and I will open up Windows Task Manager to see uh, how we're doing. Now, I think we have already loaded up the guest account. Yep, we have. So now, back out here, and we'll go into our admin account. And we'll do control delete to bring up the task manager. Normally, that will bring up Windows security, but because we have the welcome screen enabled, we open up task manager. Performance, uh, CPU usage is not doing that much, but we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten users. <laughs> ten users uh, logged in in total. <laughs> it's crazy to me when I think about it, but yeah. Anyways, back out to the login screen, and now we're going to be taking advantage of fast user switching. <laughs> running too many programs may slow down your computer. Your computer's running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that's the notice when you when you get when you click on that. But either way, now let's try to do task manager on this and see if you can try to connect to to this one. Oh, I can send a message. I can send a message to all of them. Uh, let's connect to this one. Yep, we can connect to there easily. So I will go ahead and send a message to every send a message to all the user accounts that we have on here. So let's type in, uh, this is an experimental test for I'm going to actually <laughs> copy paste that message to all of everyone. And for the guest account, I made a separate message. Now, to log out and log back in and see our message that we just sent. Yep, there it is. This is an experimental test for logging in with 10 users. Now on to embedded. Yep, that works. One program running. I guess that's probably the... That's probably the, the message that we just sent out, so. Yeah, the admin still has the task manager open. <laughs> yeah. One, one program running. This is an experimental <laughs> mental test for logging with 10 users. Yep, that works. User two, that works. User number three got the message there. <laughs> We're logging out and logging back in. <laughs> wow. That works. User five. 
just <laughs> we're gonna hear this log out log off log in log off sounds constantly and as for guests let's see our our message guest here this <laughs> yep i added that specifically for this account but yep and now to end it off with shutting down the computer so we go turn off the computer turn off other people are logged into this computer shutting down windows might cause them to lose data do you want to continue shutting down yes now once we do this we're gonna hear the windows shutdown sound played 10 times i would say so let's do it i want to hear how it sounds so we got that and wait for it <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> wow so that's what it sounds like but you had the windows xp sh shutdown sound played like what nine or ten times <laughs> wow <laughs> oh my goodness me and i bet uh there's probably gonna be another one that's starting to play once it blacks out i guess i'll have to wait for that oh it didn't do it this time but it did uh when i was doing that test off screen but yeah <laughs> and that was it for this little mini experiment that with this intel compact but yeah <laughs> thank you guys for watching this little <laughs> this little uh video and i'll hope to see you on the next one See you later.